Hello and welcome to a new video of Applied Control Engineering. This time we are going to tune our control loop again, our system. We are again using our system here. We are heating this metal part. Yeah? We are using to heat this uh, Pelti element. Yeah? Here a PID controller is working on this Arduino. Yeah. And we are measuring the temperature of this of this aluminium part, uh, and we want to control it. We can set the set point with the help of this potentiometer. We can trigger the set point with the push of a button. That's it. And we analyzed this this thing here before, and we have done it pretty nice, I would say. Yeah, uh, and we found out the the lay time, the rise time, and the stationary gain factor of the system. And they, these were exactly the things which we need to do, which we need to have for a tuning coding key and horns and Reswick. These are the three input variables there. I've made a, I've made a table, uh, spreadsheet, where I put in those those formula of Keynes, Horns and Reswick. Yeah. And here we see I already entered the correct numbers we figured out in a previous video, you can watch it. Yeah. So we had stationary gain factor of the system was 1.44, the delay time was 19.4 seconds and the rise time was 216.2 seconds. And this table is calculating the the uh, parameters the parameters according Keynes, Horns, and Reswick. There is a video where I explain this. You can watch this. The theory behind. Well, and what we want to do is we want to tune it according a reference transfer function. So we need and we want to have it a periodic. So we need this this line. And we want to use a PI controller. So I adjusted currently 2.71 as proportional gain factor and 259 seconds as uh, integration time. Yeah. Okay. So, and this is what is currently running here on this uh, on the machine. Uh, it already is pretty stable as you see here yeah? so we are currently running at around 30 degree the, the, the uh, correcting variable is pretty stable and so on I have also inserted uh, new things this is the control deviation yeah? and this is the squared control deviation these two things we can use uh, to, to analyze to analyze the quality. Yeah? Okay, so let's try what is happening here. Uh, and well, set point I will set to 45 now, as always. It's not that easy. 45.93, it's okay. I'm going to trigger. Book. Let's see what this tuning according to Keynes, Rons and Breswick is meaning for us. This was not an exact hit. Let's see how long it takes until we reach the final value. really takes a while, right? Still 
still one degree deviation. At least it's stable, right? So what we can already tell, yeah. Okay, it's working, it's stable. Yeah. However, you know, it's it's it cannot fit perfect. Easy, right? Because it's the same rule on every system. Yeah? So if it fits your system good or bad, yeah, or not, let's say not that bad, uh, it depends on your application. And that's it. Yeah? So you cannot reach with this with those rules, yeah, adjustment rules, you cannot reach an optimal controller. Uh, that's clear. It's a good starting point. You see, it's looking pretty nice. Maybe a little bit tuning and this would work perfect. Yeah? So, that's actually it. Yeah? So, so, such automated rules, how to adjust, are good if you are, if you are not taking into account or you don't need to be that accurate. Yeah? I mean, you know, if this would be, I don't know, a toaster, yeah, your your bread would be crusty, regardless if you hit one degree up or down. It doesn't really matter. Yeah? If it is really necessary to maintain absolute accuracy, because afterward, afterwards, a whole a whole production charge is is gone, yeah, then you might need to tune a little bit more. Yeah? Yeah, it depends what you like, what you need. So this is the application of Keen's Horns and Reswick. As you see, it's working. Not optimal. Yeah. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.